everybody, my name is G, and today we are back on Minecraft, but we are somewhere quite different. We are in the new area. It's not on the Let's Play world, it's in a separate world, but it's a place where I will be going over top 10 lists in Minecraft and th for things to do in Minecraft. And the first video here is going to be about 10 tips for when you're like out exploring in your Minecraft world, just so you don't die or you don't have to worry about anything like other than exploring. So uh, let's get into the first tip. So the first tip here is always keep a book and quill on you so you can find your home coordinates easier. I use this quite a lot. And I use it in the Let's Play world. It's so great exploring. You know exactly where home is. So here, home is um, X ninety eight Y four two, and I think it's about here. So yeah, you can't see the coordinates, but I did measure them out before the video. So that's the first tip. Always keep a book and call on you, so you know where your house is. And the second tip. Uh, quite a few people use this, is carry a water bucket, so if you're in like a tall area, say a mountain, or um, even you could, if you're skilled enough you can use it to climb back up, but uh, if you're on a mountain and you can't jump down because there isn't a river near, you can just place down a water bucket and um, yeah, you can just swim down, but if I demonstrate here, you can if you are skilled enough actually use it to swim up walls so if i place that down there and then i quickly i can uh, yeah and then you can get above a wall but you have to be quite quick with that so that's tip number two where is it oh there we go and um yeah carry a water bucket so you don't die from full damage anyway uh number three this is for more late game like pre-ender dragon but definitely post diamonds um have an organized ender chest in case you do die and you need to get your items back and well you can't because your spawn points back at your house and you're about 2000 blocks away and they'll despawn uh, if you have an ender chest full of just supplies um you can just get back to where you started so that's cool and oh, i don't have a way of breaking this now ah oh. Well, anyway, uh, so yeah, that's tip number three. Have an organised ender chest if you do die, so you can get items back. And uh, tip number four, have enough food. It is amazing how many times I and other people have underestimated how many, food, how many pieces of food they're going to need when they're out exploring, because eventually you will run out. So it's better to have more food than less food. So it doesn't really help if you have 10 cookies, but it would help if you have a stack of pork. So yeah, definitely have enough food so you don't starve. And if you do run out of food, I would consider taking a furnace, some fuel and a fishing rod so you can catch fish and cook it. Or just kill the animals or just um, if you find a village, farm the hay bales and craft that into wheat then into bread. Okay, sorry, I have to scratch my nose. Anyway, um, tip number five, keep a stack of blocks on you, uh, and presumably, well, preferably, that's the better word, um, use an easily accessible thing, like dirt, but do out of, like, red concrete or something like that, so just, you can build up, you can break it fast, and if you run out, you can just dig the ground below you, unless you're in a desert. Uh, yeah, so always keep a stack of blocks on you, so if you need to get up to tall areas, or if you just fell in a hole and you need to build back up, yeah, keep a stack of blocks on you. Number six, uh, you can also use this in a book and quill. Um, keep a log of interesting places, so in this book and quill, uh, obviously this is an example because it's a super flat world, but imagine we find an ocean monument at 4567897. Uh, you would want to keep a log of that and you wouldn't want to forget it, so when you go back there you can be prepared. So 
write it down in your book and quilt, uh, so you don't forget, and it's and you can find it quickly. I use that quite a lot on my main survival world to keep track of like places I've been and stuff. Anyway, uh, tip number seven: make sure your items have durability. I cannot stress this enough, but before you go out exploring, please check the durability of your items because it's always better to have a near full durability than a half durability otherwise it, it's probably going to break halfway through and if you don't have the materials to craft a new one well uh, I don't really know what you can do there's only one thing you can do and that is get wood and make uh, a tool variant of that in wood or stone and anyway, tip number eight, bring your bed. Now this sounds like the worst tip, but actually it's quite useful. If you follow these and you're very careful, if you bring your bed with you, what you can do is you can re set your respawn point if you're going to somewhere. My bed is too far away. But so, so yeah, if you can set your respawn point or you could use it to skip the night. And if you want, if you're like at your destination, you can keep it there. Well, that's if you have a destination. If you're just going out exploring, you can, uh, you can find a new bed. You can make a new bed at that point. So, if you die, you go back to where you stopped exploring. So yeah, bring bring your bed. Usually, you'll have spares. I have spares. I have like seven beds. But yeah, bring, bring your bed so you can skip the night and set your respawn point. It's also good if you run out of food, because what I do sometimes is I use my bed, I set my respawn point, then I uh, put all my items in a chest, then I jump from a high place, so it resets my hunger, and I'm right next to the chest with my items, so basically it's a free hunger refill. So yeah, it's very useful, actually. And number nine, keep a boat on you if you, well, unless you're a frost walker, because then you can walk across water. But if you don't, always keep uh, a variant of a boat on you, just in case, so you can just, cro if you find an ocean or a lake that's quite big, you can just cross it. That's if you don't have frost walker, because if you have frost walker, you can just walk across it. So yeah, that's tip number nine, keep a boat on you so you can um, go through water easier. Or if you have Depth Strider on your helmet, but uh, that's actually kind of rare. But anyway, yes, the final tip. Uh, plan how long you're going to explore for. Now, this is, no one, well, I, maybe some people do it, but a lot of people don't. They don't plan how long they're going to go out exploring for. They just like just think I'm gonna go off exploring with the things they have. Because if you plan how long you're gonna explore for, say you going out for ten minutes, you'd bring ten minutes worth of food. You wouldn't bring like two minutes worth. So like you'd bring twenty steak or something instead of like five. Uh, I couldn't think of what's putting it, so I just put a clock to represent time. Oh, is it? It's almost midday. Well, that's not midday. That's night. Okay. Uh, yeah. So that is tip number ten. So that is all the tips I have. Uh, I might make a part two if this video gets ten likes, because it's ten tips. I might make a part two. So yeah, I I still need to find a way to break this ender chest. I'm going to try and break it with my hand. No, that's not happening. These unbreakable without a pickaxe. No, they're not. But it just take an extremely long time compared to regular chests. So yeah, uh, that's everything. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, I know it's a bit shorter, uh, but I will be live streaming tomorrow. Uh, Runescape. I did a poll yesterday. Yeah, yesterday or the day before. Actually, I think it was the day before, and. I think 86% of you voted for live stream, so it looks like I'm doing a live stream tomorrow. So yeah, uh, stay tuned for that. I'll be posting it. I'll say when I'm posting the live stream, well, starting the live stream um, on Instagram. 
So, yeah, keep an eye on my Instagram tomorrow, and yeah, uh, keep on gaming. Bye!